So let's switch up to another deck a little bit. I'm gonna play my Paladin. Uh, normally people would say my Paladin is because I actually added one card, at least one other card here. It's actually good against Priest and anyone who wants to play exactly turn 7 Dr. Boom or even exactly turn 6 Cabal Shadow Priest as a, pri as a Priest and things like, things like that. We'll see if I get the card because if I do get a card then there's a very high chance that I will win because I literally would lock their hand up pretty hard. The standard opening of the power word shield with the cleric. Okay. There we go. That's the card. Narubar, weblord. And you must be wondering why. Oh, my vision. Equality would be the worst one to steal For me, anyway It's the worst case because I kind of want my Naruba to survive So, but he did Use a power with shield so I don't think he would equality but it, he might equality if he needed it to be But he didn't, he got the um, Acolyte so I'm just going to take the Acolyte down. Keep everything healthy for now. And yes, I do play with some Battle Cries in my deck, but I don't really care. And the reason is because as long as my Nuru Bar lives on his turn but if it's dead for my turn I always can put out my battle cry first and I'm talking about Dr. Boom so that's why I brought that card back into into play I mean I've only used it a couple times uh, when Nax came out just to affect uh, Doom Guards and I remember uh, at least one warlock, uh, Zulok, he tried to soul fire my Nurubar weblord, and it was turn 5 obviously, because he obviously had a doom guard in his hand, and in the end it tossed his doom guard. It was like out of 5 cards too. 4 or 5 cards, total. So I thought that was pretty funny, and that was kind of almost the last time I've actually used the Nurubar because there's no room to add Nurubar. Oh, light spawn, huh? See, this is the turn where I get stumbled whether I want to use equality and I don't want to kill my um, Belcher so I have the equality after and not before Normally, if I just had no Belcher, like a taunt that I would want to just kill anyway then I would literally sacrifice the whole board and that's a good draw cuz then he has to silence his own cleric to survive the secret get down that is and he knows it's avenged or at least he would think it's avenged but I don't remember him killing anything of mine yet so it could be redemption the way that I played my Belcher it could have been redemption
at least I think I'm right, because I, I rarely play Redemption anymore, but I'm pretty sure he attacked my face several times. So it's not eye for an eye, it wasn't get down, but now it could be get down, and it could have been Redemption. And the way I uh, made my Belcher live like that, it's very suspicious of Redemption. But losing a 1-1 here isn't bad for him. And I don't know where he went. But he seems awfully upset about the Nurubar. From the beginning. The way that he played creatures that didn't need Battlecry. And look at him. He's back. He's mousing over in the Nurubar. Meaning that half his hand is red. Like, literally. It's gotta be. He has a Cabal in his hand. He probably has an Owl or a Spellbreaker in his hand. He probably has Dr. Boom in his hand. By now. Like, or at least even a Kazan Mystic. He could have stolen my secrets, but he doesn't want to, like, waste a turn. Because I have a Belcher that can kill a Kazan Mystic. You know, he's he's mousing over the Nurubar like crazy, and he's skipping turns. So, he's just waiting to see what I have in my deck. I'm not going to reveal too much of my deck, by the way. And the more he doesn't test any of my secrets, the more he doesn't know my deck. Oh, finally he plays a rag. And it hits my face out of everything. Oh, that's my secret retaker. Well, he's dead. Thanks for watching.